Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and today we're going to be taking a look at a replica of Winchester's iconic Model 71 rifle. Now, this replica is made by Pedersoli in Italy, and it's sold here in the United States by Cimarron Firearms of Fredericksburg, Texas. So let's take a look at some of its features. Winchester made the original Model 71 from 1935 until 1959, and altogether less than 48,000 were made. The Model 71 is based on John Browning's iconic 1886 action. And in that action, twin locking lugs move in mortises in the receiver and the bolt, locking them both together like a bank vault. Now, the Model 71 has a 24-inch barrel with a two-thirds length magazine that holds five rounds. This rifle comes in two grades from Cimarron, the classic grade and the premium grade. The classic grade has a blued receiver, while the premium grade has a color case hardened receiver and a color case hardened pistol grip cap. And on the premium grade, you've got upgraded walnut in the stocks. Well, Evil Roy is lurking 50 yards downrange, and we've got the Model 71 loaded up with some 405 grain Remington soft point 4570 rounds. So let's see if we can tickle his plates a little bit. And that's exactly the way I like it. The original Model 71 was chambered in the 348 Winchester cartridge. But the Model 71 was the only rifle that was ever chambered for that round, so ammo isn't exactly easy to find. For that reason, Cimarron's replica of the Model 71 is chambered in the more easily purchased 4570 government cartridge. And it's quite accurate with those cartridges. This rifle that I tested seems to prefer 300 grain bullets, and as you can see, it shoots them pretty well at 100 yards. Uh, that was a little bit of a surprise because the rifling pitch is a very fast one turn and 18 inches. And just to put it in perspective, my Winchester 1886 Extra Light has a barrel with a turn in 22 inches. So this is a pretty fast rifling twist. Usually you'd expect heavier bullets to shoot better. Now this is a relatively light rifle. It weighs in at just about 8 pounds fully loaded. Uh, but if you're going to hunt with it, I think you're going to appreciate the integral sling swivels um, that come with it. Well, looks like Evil Roy has learned his lesson, and he has vacated the premises. So we've got a uh, one-gallon water jug set up 50 yards downrange, and let's see if the Model 71 can take it down. Now, I have this thing sighted in for 405 grain bullets. And I'm using 300 grain bullets right now because I just ran out of 405s. So I might have to find the elevation on this, but we'll see how we do. <laughs> well, I guess I found the elevation pretty fast. Alright man, Model 70, drilled that jug plumb center and took it apart. <laughs> it just loves shooting those big rounds. Well, we've moved the range up a little bit to 25 yards. And now I'm going to see if the Model 71 can take down a couple of 2 liter bottles.
yeah. Okay, you know, it seems like any time that I do a rifle video, some of you guys will get a hold of me, and you'll say that you just can't believe that I shoot rifles at these short little ranges, and that doesn't show the capability of the rifle at all, and you know, Hickok 45 shoots rifles at long range, and all that's true. Uh, I just want to point out, Hickok 45 is a way better shot than me, and his son John is a way better videographer than me. But I don't want you to think I'm going to let you down and uh, not try a few long range shots. But I'm not sure how it's going to look on the video, because after all, these steel plates are way out there. But uh, let's see if we can take the Model 71 and make some steel ring at long distance. Now we've got Cimarron's Model 70 and we're going to try to ring the 150 yard steel plate. I think I got it that time. Not sure. I'm going to try again. That time I got it. All right, well, I think I'll try the 200 yard one just for fun. Well, I think I hit it. Well, we've been through a long cold winter and now it's picnic season. So let's use the Model 71, to serve up a little watermelon. Well, it certainly breaks it up into bite-sized pieces.